It's been nearly six months since Gerby Road collapsed during those torrential rains back in April. Now, the road has been fixed, but you may remember a woman's car fell in that huge hole after the road gave way. Well, the woman driving that car is still recovering. Local 15's Madupe Idowu spoke to her to find out how she's doing now. I was just driving down the road, then all of a sudden my, I felt my car drop. After Christina Clay's home flooded late April, she took her two dogs and headed for her mother's house, but she never made it. I opened the door to look and I realized I was down in the hole and the dogs were injured pretty bad. Heavy rains caused the roadway to wash out underneath Gerby Road. I saw my foot up underneath the dash like this, then I realized it was broken and I wasn't going anywhere. It was then when another accident almost happened. The lady behind me had slammed on brakes and stopped before she went in behind me. She would make it out okay, but she's pretty banged up. This is the first time I broke a bone. Clay fractured her eye socket, broke her nose, shattered her ankle, broke her heel, ribs, tailbone, and had bleeding on her brain. It was really hard being in the hospital for three weeks knowing I had an eight-day-old baby that I wanted to take care of. The little baby that was supposed to ride with Clay to her mother's house. Her husband suggested the newborn stay with him. We uh, could not get the, the car seat in, the, in her car. I didn't feel comfortable with it, so she took the pets. Uh, ahead of me while we were doing the cleanup. It could have been a lot worse if he was in the car with her. After three surgeries, Christina is doing well. She's still going to physical therapy, which is off Gerby Road. I personally would like to avoid it like the plague, but he told me I need to get over my fear, face fear. and face it. We've just stayed positive through everything, and it, it gets stressful at times, but you you just keep going. In Mobile, Madupe Edo, Local 15 News. Well, the family is dealing with mounting medical bills, as you might understand, and repairs to their flooded home as well. A friend has opened a GoFundMe account to help. Find out how you can help by going to our website, local15tv.com.